NBC10 Jersey Shore reporter Ted Greenberg live in Seaside Heights with more on this. Ted. Aaron and Keith, you know, this is really a morale boost and the boardwalk not empty anymore. A morale boost for all of these people out here being able to return to the boardwalk and beach. Seaside Heights is taking a multi-phased approach, calling this a soft reopening a week before Memorial Day weekend. Perfect timing for this taste of summer, a big warm-up arriving on the same day that the boardwalk and beach in Seaside Heights reopened. It feels like a little bit of normalcy back again in our new normal, I guess. So hopefully this is the start of something good. The resort community allowing people on the sand and boards in two phases with big restrictions, a day after Governor Murphy declared the Jersey Shore would be open in time for Memorial Day weekend with new rules. Even though it's different, at least it gives us some kind of positive outlook, something to look forward to. Initially in Seaside Heights, the boardwalk and beach are open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Access only from four entry points, others gated off. Social distancing a must. Authorities asking people to keep moving. Sitting on the beach not allowed. No more than groups of 10 at a time. We're going to be monitoring with social ambassadors. The second phase starts May 23rd with longer hours and additional access. Beach chairs, blankets, and sitting will be permitted. Beach badges required and have to be purchased in advance online or through an app. The mayor expects beach capacity to be limited to 25%. Parking capacity at private lots reduced to 50%. Some parking areas closed completely. We did that for not to have people stay out, but that's to lessen the population coming down and visiting us. We don't want to do that. But to have a 25%, we have to do it. All it depends on the social distancing and if people are conforming. If everything does the as I'm optimistic. On the boardwalk, there's takeout food, but other businesses remain shuttered, rides at a standstill. But for some here, today's reopening brings hope. This is like a gift. I just hope it works and we can still come and enjoy the summer. That second phase, as of now, runs through the end of June. No swimming or coolers will be allowed. Officials say masks are encouraged but not required. Live in Seaside Heights, I'm Ted Greenberg, NBC 10 News.